Here the first one, install this open AMS horizon, add this uh, app repository to this uh, file list and add GPG key. These are the commands used to add the repository and add the GPG key. We use sudo to run this command. Yeah, actually there is already a sudo here, so we don't need to add, a, add one more sudo here. Here this uh, command is uh, worked like this. We create a file, then use this cat command to add this stuff inside that file. You see this uh, mock EOF. So we paste this command. Then we need to type these two lines for this hint. Control C, paste here. Then type UF. Type the password. So now it's a, uh, the file is created and the contents is uh, added. Right? We can use cat command to have a look. apt source list dot d open AMS list. You see the two lines are inside that file. Then we need to add this uh, GPG key. What's GPG key and how to use GPG key? You will learn in uh, 350. Here it says, uh, cannot write to that uh, place in add GPG key because I didn't type. Here we just download, then after add key, we let's uh, type a sudo. Apt key, add, dash, cannot write to dash. Now uh, it's okay. Then we type sudo apt update. Because this uh, open AMS is a repository, is uh, added uh, to this list. This update, it will try to get the information from the website. Here, you we have a problem. Conflicting distribution. Stable release expects the but not uh, got open AMS dash uh, 26. So we need to find a non-conflicting uh, distribution. This is uh, just a warning. It's okay, let's uh, continue. Now we can uh, sudo apt dash y. Dash y means yes. We don't need to uh, answer yes during the process, the installation procedure. Install open AMS. These are the requirements will be installed automatically. How do we check it's uh, installed successfully or not? We can first check this, uh, its installation uh, directory structure. Use our tree command. We need to wait until it uh, complete.
Okay, here this uh, install must uh, now be done manually. Previous versions of this pa package will invoke the installer to handle initial setup or upgrade an existing database. This is no longer the case. You must manually run this install to complete this uh, install upgrade. Full installation, full install documentation can be found in this uh, doc package and available online here. Now you see it's a little bit annoying. Press tab, press uh, enter, okay. Now select a mail server configuration type. The best, the best uh, meets your need. Your no configuration should be chosen to leave the current configuration unchanged. Here we can use uh, as a demonstration We can choose mail send received directly using SMTP or mail is received directly using this uh, SMTP, SMTP or by running a utility. Here you use your arrow key, you can uh, scroll up and down, but where I could uh, select it? It didn't say it just uh, uh, explanation, we, we can check this elephant explanation to see locally only deliver mails for local users. There is no network. So we can choose this uh, local only, but it's okay to choose a uh, internet site. But that way maybe we will need uh, some other DNS, fully qualified domain name, those kind of stuff. Press tap to the OK. Now we need to choose one. Let's choose this uh, internet set. The mail name. Here we need a fully qualified domain name. If we don't have, maybe it will not work. The system mail name. Let's just quit. That means at ATS uh, 352.edu. We don't have that domain name yet. Here you can check this recommendation because every update you don't need a uh, manual steps to upgrade the configuration files or migrate database schemes. So it suggests us to disable the repository after installation. When it's installing, we can read these uh, documents. Step two, initialize and set up PostgreSQL error. Step three, initialize and start up, start this open AMS horizon. Step four, 
first login and change the default password. Okay, these are the steps. Installation failed. This is IP like try to install I plug into the template one or this database to skip this uh, step and uh, install manually set the environment available. Skip this one before installing this uh, package. Okay, let's skip this one. I just copy it to see whether we need it later. Okay, we installed, but it looks like we have uh, some errors and warnings through this uh, procedure. Let's check whether whether we can continue or not. Before that, the, we can check the installation here. Use our tree command, dash L. Then follow this, uh, dash L1 means just uh, see one level of those photos then follow the it's pass user share open open ms okay you see this stuff otherwise uh, you can see there is some uh, little bit different instances we don't have okay we have uh, or others. Now we run this uh, sudo apt mock to hold these packages. I just copy this stuff. Press enter. Here is the set on hold. Now they are hold, they will not be updated as the recommended is better to disable the repository how do we disable the repository we can go to that uh, apt list here at the beginning we add a add that file into this uh, source list d so we can go to that folder cd etc apt source list D ls we see that open ams list over there we can delete it but uh, the good idea is to just uh, comment it's uh, comment out its uh, contents so we use sudo plumber plumber is just a text editor open ams dot list go inside now we can use a uh, Found the key to comment out this, its uh, contents and save it. All right now this uh, update is disabled. Then we need to install this uh, PostgreSQL. SQL.
the PostgreSQL database is already initialized. So it's already added in the run level configuration for the system startup. We can have a check. System control status PostgreSQL. So do system control start post degree SQL. Oops, I make a typo. Then we check the status. But it says uh, active and uh, exited. So that's not that's not the problem. So, so try this post Greece. Okay, we use a sudo so then we come to here. We log in switch to the user as this uh, post Greece. This is the user created by this uh, Postgres database. Create user dash p open ams and the password for the new row. So I would type a simple password. And create a database. We create a user in a database. Create DB database dash o open AMS. Now you, you see here is uh, quite confusing. The username is called uh, open AMS. The database is also called open AMS. Open AMS. Okay, it's uh, created. Set a password for the Postgre super user. PSQL dash C The super user is required to be able to initialize and change the database scheme for installation and uh, updates. This is just run the SQL statements. The goal is voted. Now we exit this Postgre uh, user. Come back to our default user. I would like to go to my home folder. Then we configure the database access here. Configure this stuff. But first, I want to find the variable value of that uh, open AMS home. Open AMS home to see whether it is set or not. So it's empty. Now, I don't know what this uh, OpenAM's home value is. Ctrl F, Ctrl V, paste it to see what it is. It's on the, in the bone is uh, this place, OpenAM's home is uh, this one. User share open AMS. Then we can uh, actually we can set this one temporary export. Use this location. But I would uh, to verify. Double check 
user share open AMS it is there. Open AMS. Okay, it's here. Now we we have this variable name. Then we can continue this uh, the VM port. We just come to this place. Now we can use. Uh, we need need to do. Chrome. I would like to use the GUI text editor. Use share open AMS etc open AMS dash data source dot XML from inside this file. What do we need to modify? JDBC data source. Yeah, JDBC data source we have JDBC dash data dash uh, dash data source dash source. Okay. We can see this stuff to check JDBC name should use one here. Class name. Now here username. Your open username and user password. Yeah, the password I just typed a different password, not this one. I use this password. Then the administrator. To double check this part, again we need to sudo. So go to a uh, host Greece, switch to that user. Now how do we uh, find all the users inside the system or find this uh, host Greece user? I would like to run this command again. I think it didn't ask me to type a new password. Oops, my, my bad. The password we can set up here. I just copied it blindly. Password. So this is a way to change the user post grace with a password. And this post grace uh, super user. By default. Okay, now this password is uh, changed. Exit. Then I can come to this place to change the password. Here I use uh, and key to put it in the background so I can continue this uh, command window. Here, yeah, this part, we need to uh, change it to post Chris with this uh, password. Oh, this is uh, a database setup. One, two, three, four. Here we will change this stuff. Database name, username, password. So you need to make sure this database name, username match here when we create a user, create a database. OK, they all match. Now we come here to initialize and start this open AMS horizon. It asks us to go to that uh, folder to run this uh, this one, detect or drop environment and persist in this uh, user share open AMS, just Java to conf. But this Java, I, I use this machine for another course, so I have two Java SDK. I think I need to switch to Java 11. Can I check my Java version? Oops. Dash version. 
you see mine is just uh, 1.8, so I need to switch to Java 11. For, I think some students may didn't take my uh, other course, ITS 452. Okay, how many of you didn't take my course uh, 452? I have not. Okay, since we have students didn't take uh, that course, so we need to show you how to install this uh, Java environment. Yep, the Java environment in C in our GitHub 4.52. Come to a lab one to install the Java. You need to run this command. Just copy and paste in your command window. Don't need to do. Just run this command. After this part, then you install these two, just copy and paste. These commands are verified when I go through this lab. So this part is used to install the Java environment, then you can complete this, this part. After that, here you see we installed two versions of Java SDK. One is 8.0, the other one is 11.0. Now in our 352, we need this Java 11. So how do we switch the Java version here? So the correct Java JDK before running those programs need the appropriate version of Java. Here in our 352, we need this one. 11 version. Go to this uh, terminal window, put it here, press enter. Now my default default Java version is set to 11. I can double check with the other Java dash version. You see now it's uh, 11. Then we can go back to this uh, installation guide here. We can copy this one to help check. Because we've already set up this uh, environment available. So it's uh, safe to copy it and run it. Here you can see this is the this output. It says permission denied, so we need to do. Okay, now find a good version and a saved configuration, a configuration file is saved. Then we run this one. As I said, maybe we better use both or use a sudo to free. You must run this script as root. Oops, I, I didn't type that sudo. Here, sudo. Then run this uh, command. After that, we can enable OpenAM Horizon and start it. We need to check some library. Yeah, you didn't find so many libraries. JRD2 here, a long list of missing libraries. Okay, it says upgrade completely, completed uh, successfully. Uh, I also have some errors. Okay, let's see whether we can run it successful. So do system control, enable. Enable this open AMS every time it will run as a daemon when we start our virtual machine. Then we check uh, start it. Start open AMS.
we can check the status. Okay, it's running now. Active and running, so it looks good. Tap Q, create this part. Now we come to step four. First login and change default password. It's uh, under this location, open AMS. Login with admin, admin, default user and password. Change password, set current password to new password, then click submit. Other stuff we need to go through these uh, guys. Okay, I need to uh, run this uh, this one. Its port number is uh, 898980. So we can type localhost 8980 followed by open AMS. Oh, this is the first time we run this open AMS horizon. Type uh, admin, default password, default user, admin, and login. Okay, after login, what we need to do? You can see there are so many stuff. Search info, status report, dashboard, maps, and so on. First step, we need to change the password. Go back to the guide. Now you see you have a map. If you have a company distributed across the globe, you can see this stuff. Oops, where is my translation guide here? The password is a change, admin change password in the manual. Here, change password. The current password is admin. New password, we just set, set up a new password. Click submit. What's what it says? It didn't say successful. Admin, type again. Okay, password successfully changed. Now we can come to uh, explore this uh, management software. Here, for example, notes. No notes, now found. You can, we didn't add any anyone, locations. Access, so you can uh, explore this stuff by yourself. As I said, we need to uh, check those guide to see how to add our computers and uh, all of our software into this list for monitoring. I'd like to go to this dashboard. Okay, this dashboard, you can see this stuff. How could I add my local machine into this uh, monitoring system? So we just uh, explore this one blindly. So it's better read their guides to see how to use it. There's a lot of configuration. Before we can see anything, maybe we need to configure this system first.